Okay, this is a short video just to define the concept of conditional independence. Conditional independence. Conditional independence. And basically it mirrors exactly the concept of independence. Um, but uh, in a... It does that have an... That's an E, sorry. Independent. Uh, independence. Conditional independence. Uh, so, um, basically... Um, what we have is we have our sample space. We have our sample space. We have a. We start off with a large sample space. Uh, we have our set of events, and we have our probability measure. Now, remembering conditional probability, we take a new set E, and we say let's restrict our attention just to this. So make E your new sample space. Make E your new sample space. Your new sample space. Sample space, and in the video on um, conditional probability, we I showed you how to restrict the set of events down to E and produce a new set of events that satisfies all the axioms, and how to restrict the probability to E, and that restriction of the probability to E is what is known as conditional independence. Uh, it's conditional probability. It's probability conditional on E. Okay, uh, it's given that E has happened. So uh, if you take two events, A and, let's say, event B. Uh, so this is event A and event B. Uh, then they are independent, they are conditionally independent. P and A are... are P, uh, sorry, A and B are conditionally independent. Conditionally independent, and this is going off on a bit of a slope. Independent, uh, given C, given E rather, given E. Uh, if the probability of A into section B given E is equal to the probability of A given E times the probability of B given E. Now what does that mean? That means uh, take A, uh, restrict it to E. So that's this set here. Similarly, take B and restrict it to E as well. So that's that set there. So forget the bits outside of there. You then know what the probabilities of these new sets, these restricted sets to E, are with respect to the uh, the new probability measure just defined on E. And basically, all you're saying is that they though is that the probability of A intersection B given E. So the probability of these two set intersections of these two sets within E um, is equal to. Uh, the probability or the two probabilities. So basically, all you're saying is that in this new smaller sample space, when you uh, in the in the, the two new, when you restrict the two sets A and B to this new sample space, they are independent on that new sample space with respect to the new probability measure. So they are conditionally independent. So on the new probability space, this smaller probability space, uh, the two events are independent. Now a note of warning. Warning. Uh, this does not imply, it does not imply that they are independent on the larger, independent on uh, the larger probability space. So it does not imply that they are unconditionally independent probability space. And indeed, it doesn't even work the other way either. Them being independent on the larger probability space does not tell you that they are conditionally independent. So this does not imply, sorry, it does not imply that they are conditionally independent. So the two concepts are not actually that related. They are the same definition, but given one, you cannot deduce the other, and given the other, you cannot deduce the other. They're not... They're, they're, it, it, they, although the definitions are so parallel, and that indeed they are, that it's just saying basically conditional independence is just independence with respect to this smaller uh, sample space, but you can't basically deduce that they'll be independent with respect to this new um, uh, probability space uh, from the fact that they were um, independent given uh, with respect to the um, larger probability space.